Hey everyone, I am Zueb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, I will show you how to create a responsive sidebar navigation menu with the Angular Material Component Library. So what do I mean by a responsive sidebar navigation menu? Well, on desktop or larger screen sizes, we have enough real estate, so we'd like our sidebar to remain visible at all times, reminding the user of the different sections of the site. On smaller screen sizes, we'd like to hide the sidebar and show it only when the user wants to navigate to another section. Something like this. In other words, our sidebar will respond to screen size changes. That is, it will be responsive. Looks good. Let's get started to see exactly how to do this. We have a new project set up here. Let's add the Angular Material Library to it. Next. Let's uh, add our modules that we have to use in our app. We are going to use the Mat Toolbar module, the Mat Side Nav module, the Button module, the Icon and the Divider module. Let's just copy them all in. Great! Let's start building our template. First, we'll add the toolbar at the top. Then we'll add the material side navigation. The material side navigation component has some parts to it. The container is actually called the mat side nav container, as here. This has a mat side nav inside of it, and then the mat side nav content. You could keep any content here, including a router outlet. You will most probably be using routes to show different sections of the site here. In my case, I am just going to have a div and I am just going to um, keep some text in it called main content. Okay, now it's time to add some styles to spice up our layout. So first we are going to add uh, some styling for our toolbar. We are going to give it a background color of a dark navy color and we are going to make the color white. Next we will add the styling for the side nav itself and let's also display it side by side so we can see our changes. We will make the side nav mode side and open at the start so we can observe the changes. We are going to add a bit of a margin a fixed width and a background. But before we see the changes, we'll have to give some fixed size to the container itself. We give a height of 100 viewport height minus 65 pixels and we can see our side nav container. We're going to give some rounded borders and some padding and we're going to align the text in the center. Onto the content, we're going to give a height of a little less than the mat side nav container and some margins and a bigger margin on the left. And then we're going to just use a flex container to center everything. Great. Uh, lastly, we just uh, need to give uh, some elevation and we're going to add mat elevation Z4 to the content and the border radius which seems to have been missed here. Okay, this looks great. Now this is strictly not needed for this app but I wanted to make a more complete example of a sidebar. Let's now add some menu items to the sidebar. We already have our template uh, set up uh, as below. We are just going to copy it in. Great, we have some buttons. Let's also add some bit of styling to make them better looking. Let's add a style for the buttons and the icons within them. Okay, now it looks much better. Also, we will add an avatar section at the top with a name and a designation. We will just copy that in as well. Great, so we have an image from Unsplash and we have a name and a designation and a divider. 
Let's add the styling, the remaining styling for this. Let's copy it in. Now I'm not spending much time on this because it's uh, the main purpose of the app is something else. Okay, so this looks enough for our purposes. We just need a bit of tweaking in the margins to make it look better. Okay, yeah, I think. Uh, and yes, a bit of margin here. Okay, yes, this looks great. Okay, so um, now that we are done with our visual layout, let's add the responsive functionality. To make the sidebar responsive, the material side nav component provides us with a property called mode. For large screen sizes, the uh, we want the mode to be side. This means that the side nav will always remain visible and our main content is displayed along with it. The other mode is over. We'll need this uh, when we want the sidebar to be hidden normally but only appear over the content when we want to navigate to some other section. Something like this. So all we need is a way to switch between these modes when the screen size changes. Fortunately, we can detect screen size changes with the Angular CDK layout package and its breakpoint observer service. So let's go to our app component and first we'll add a view child decorator at the very top to get the mat side nav component reference in our code. We're going to name it side nav and give it mat side nav. Then we'll uh, include the breakpoint observer service in our constructor. Declare a private variable here and call it observer and refer it to the breakpoint observer. I'm going to import the layout package, the material layout package, and we're going to refer it to the breakpoint observer service here. Next, any code to access the site nav should be in the ng after view in it because otherwise our site nav instance might not have been initialized as yet. So we're going to specify an ng after view in it uh, handler here. And here we'll use, uh, we'll refer to this uh, dot observer and we'll use the observe method of the breakpoint observer. Now the breakpoint, uh, the observe method can take in any number of breakpoints. If any of them matches or changes state, that is stops matching, all subscriptions to the method are notified. So let's add the observe on a maximum width of 800 pixels and then subscribe to it. We'll uh, add a subscription and we'll get a response of res. Now when this matches it means we are on a small screen. So we're going to add an if condition here with a condition on the matches and when the width is not greater than 800 pixels. So therefore we need to just set the mode of the side nav to over and also we will close the side nav because we don't want to show it if it doesn't match in the else condition it means we are on a larger screen and we can switch the mode to side and open the side nav Great, let's try this out now. So as we can see, we don't see any change here, but when we are going to uh, change the screen width to a larger screen size, we can see the side nav shows up. And then when we take it back to the mobile screen, it disappears and it comes back again. There's just one thing left now. If you watch closely on smaller screens, we don't really have any way to open the sidebar. Let me show this. As you can see, there's nothing to show the sidebar. So let's quickly add a toggle button for the purpose. The first thing we'll do is to add a template reference variable. Let's go in our app.component.html and add a template reference variable to our mat site nav. We'll call it hash site nav and it will export as the mat site nav component. Then we'll add a material icon button. Button, mat icon button. 
we'll only show this button when the mode is over. So we're going to refer to the side nav instance and its mode and uh, when it's over. We're also going to add um, a click handler here and that click handler is only going to call the toggle function of the side nav which is going to toggle either open or close. Now we can have two icons here uh, and let's add some if conditions for those icons. So the first one would be menu and this icon will show when the sidebar is in the close state which would be side nav dot opened false and the other icon would be the close icon and this would have the condition of the side nav being opened great let's test this out now okay I think we have put it in the wrong position let's shift it to before the title okay let's try this again great now as you can see it pops up right and the icons change and it has all the required functionality and when we change the screen size we don't have it and then it appears again when we reduce the screen size So as you can see, by combining the CDK Breakpoint Observer and the Material Side Nav component, we can build a truly responsive sidebar navigation menu with not much effort. We can follow the same approach to make other components responsive as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.